So here's the video all of you asked for. I'm going to show you how I achieve this awesome scores on my Elementor website. If you watched my video where I explained how I achieved 100 out of 100 for good number page builder, then you know I used only two plugins. But with Elementor, it is little tricky to achieve similar scores. But don't worry, I made it easy for you guys. And if you follow this tutorial, you can also achieve the best scores for your Elementor website. And yes, like I said in my Gutenberg video, that do not obsess about 100 out of 100 scores. If you want to know why you should not worry too much about 100 out of 100, especially for mobile devices, check my video once you finish watching this video. So before we move forward, I would like to give a big thank you to all of you guys. Because of you, the channel is growing so fast. We are super close to reach 1000 subscribers. So huge thanks to all of you. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Because I create short, compact and to the point videos which are super easy to follow and which will improve your web skills. These are my current website page speed scores. So you can see it is scoring 61 for mobile devices and 82 for desktop devices. So let's see how we can increase page speed score for Elementor website. So first of all, log in into WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we are going to do, we are going to install Cache plugin. So hover on plugins and click add new and now we are going to install the plugin W fastest cache. In other video I already talk about this plugin in detail if you want to watch that video check the description box. Click on install now. Once it is installed click activate. You can find this plugin in left sidebar the last option click on W fastest cache. And now enable cache system, enable preload, choose home page, post and pages. Okay. Do not show the cache version for logged in users. Do not show the cache version for desktop to mobile users. Clear cache when a page or post is published. Clear all cache. Clear cache files when a post or a page is updated. Click OK. Minify HTML. Like my Gutenberg video, with Elementor we are not going to use Minify CSS, Combine CSS and Combine JS option. We are going to leave this option. Then choose gzip compression, browser caching and disable emojis. Once it's done, click submit. The second thing we are going to do, we are going to take help of a advanced JS and CS optimization plugin. Like we did same in Gutenberg optimization video. Hover on plugins and click add new and search for plugin auto optimize. Install now. And once it is installed, click activate. Okay, you can find this plugin under settings and the last option auto optimize. Now click this option optimize JavaScript code and choose this option also aggregate inline JS. Then enable optimize CSS code and then choose inline all CSS. Enable optimize HTML code and then save changes and empty cache. Now I'm going to retest my website to Google PageSpeed. You can see there is a great improvement here. We are scoring 81 now for mobile devices and 93 for desktop devices. We already made a great improvement on the website. Depending on your website size, the plugin and theme you are using, you can have different scores. But if you follow this tutorial, you can have the best score for your website. Okay, if we now scroll the page. And we see there are a lot of problems with the images. Google PageSpeed want us to serve images in next gen format and efficiently encode the images. In my last video, I took help of short pixel CDN, which is option provided inside auto optimize plugin, but that is limited up to 100 images. So in this video, I'm going to cover that how you can do this free with unlimited image support. So we are going to take help of another plugin. So hover on plugins and then click add new and search for WebP Express. We are going to change the image format from JPG PNG to WebP, which is supported by all modern browsers. So this is the first plugin we are going to use. Click on install now. Once it is installed, click activate. You can find this option under settings and then click WebP Express. So this is the welcome page for this plugin. Normally this plugin is very easy to use. You just need to check one thing. If you scroll down the page in conversion method, you should have at least one option enabled. We can see on my server, I have GD extension enabled. Maybe in your server, you can have another options. If you do not have any option enabled, you need to contact your web host. Mostly in all the hosting, you will have one of these options enabled. And then you need to click on bulk convert and click on start conversion. What it will do, it will create web images for all the JPG and PNG images which exist on your website. You can see all these images are converting. Depending on your website size and images, it can take some time. You can see the amazing compression level. This image is optimized 90%, 45%, 92%. So this is really very important. You convert your images to WebP, which can be served to all modern browser. If some browser does not support WebP images, the default JPG or PNG images will be displayed if you're using this plugin. So you do not need to worry about the support of WebP images to the browsers. Okay, our optimization is done and we save 42% of image size on our website. So once done, close 
and then click here save settings and force new stxs rule what it will do it will set a rule in your stxs file when somebody visit your website from modern browser normally everybody use modern browser nowadays so what will happen instead of serving the big size of jpg or png images web images will be served to the users so we'll go back to the google page speed test and we'll refresh the result so click on analyze okay you can see we are scoring 89 for mobile devices now and 98 for desktop devices so we'll go back to mobile devices we we'll scroll the page and we'll try to find out what is the existing issue here so we can see we are having issue with elmate render blocking resources if we hover on this so we can see there are three css files and one font file which are loading in a blocking way so when you use elementor page builder it adds some css in your upload directory and when you use auto optimize auto optimize does not optimize the css file which are in upload directory so to fix this thing what we are going to do we are going back to auto optimize and now we will scroll the page we are going to remove this directory upload now it will optimize all the css even from upload directory also so once it's done save changes and empty cache and the second thing we saw here there is a font file which is making a website slow so we'll go back to auto optimize and we are going to click on extra so now we are going to optimize the google fonts we are going to use the third option combine and link deferred in head fonts load late but are not render blocking and which include display swap and once it's done click on save changes now we are going to retest our website after all these optimizations and you see we are scoring 99 for mobile devices and 99 also for desktop devices if you are not able to achieve those scores comment down below with your website url and i will analyze your website personally and tell you what mistake you are doing and why you are not able to achieve high scores do not obsess about scores like 99 100 if you are getting anything above 80 it is fine okay i hope you are able to improve your elementor website page speed scores don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you in another video